Hello everyone, this is Crypto Maximalist. Welcome back to another video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and get involved if you like the content. We're currently running a giveaway for those who are liking our videos, so give the video a like if you want to be entered into that giveaway. So we're just taking a look at Cardano here, a crypto that we haven't actually looked at in a good while. And as you can see, I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful chart in terms of technicals, isn't it? You can see we've got this very key level that we're currently chopping it in, in and around of here. Obviously the swing high. We've probably got, you know, you'd say a key level down here as well, which you'd probably see ourselves rolling over to if we did see further downside for Cardano. And obviously, we've got a very, very key level, we would say in and around this level here as well. So Cardano, a crypto that has actually been, it's been slaughtered, isn't it, in this bear market? Down around, let's just take a look to this swing low here. Down around 90% as most cryptos are, but looking like it's still falling and actually breaking those previous levels of support, which has not happened for a good while for most cryptos. I mean, you could say realistically, if we just mark out what we're seeing here, you've probably got a little bit of a range looking something like this for Cardano, aren't you? Where you've basically got your, basically got your, you know, you, your low and your high, you form your range like this, don't you? And then it looks like we've come down, we retested the low again and again. And this time we've actually lost the low and it looks like we may be retesting it as resistance right now which would be very, very bearish for Cardano, wouldn't it? If you look at the charts purely from a technical perspective here, you would say, you know, realistically, if this is your low here, if you're just looking at your candlesticks without your wicks, potentially doing something like this where we are breaking out and backtesting as resistance. So it will be interesting to see what happens next, won't it, for Cardano? Because obviously if that's the case and we do start to roll over, then it's going to be, you know, the, the next level of support probably down here around 33 cents is basically that swing low was the 33 cent level wasn't it so if we left if we retest that resistance that previous support is resistance here and roll over again i mean cardano the next swing swing low down at around 25 cents or maybe even coming all the way down to that 17 18 cent level area if it did start to you know technically uh, start to roll over to its next key level of structure so obviously it's a very bearish outlook for Cardano. And as we've said in many, many, many videos now over the past few weeks that, you know, the crypto market is basically looking like it is starting to bottom out in general. Most altcoins are down 90 or 95%, which is a huge amount. And typically the values you see before you do start to see the bottom for bear markets, Bitcoin down around 80% currently as well. So we'd say realistically, Cardano is probably not going to roll that much more, you would think, from a, you know, a analysis of previous cycle perspective but the volume is very low right now the interest is low as well and purely from a technical standpoint i mean you cannot deny that this looks like a range 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 that we've broken and we're back testing as resistance currently and if we do start to see it coming back down to this level here and breaking down then it's probably going to look for that next key level of structure isn't it which is at least as we said back down into this area here around 25 26 cents which would be a massive drop wouldn't it so It'll be interesting to see what happens next for Cardano. Obviously, if we come back inside the range here, you do want to see it back tested as support again and then coming out and testing the top of the range at that 64, 65 cent level. But overall for Cardano right now, I mean, you can see very clearly that if we drew from that high to that low there, that would have been our target at the 023 at the top of the range. But this is our new low currently, isn't it? That we've put in over the past week with Cardano continuing to roll over here. And, you know, looking like we do really want to get back up inside the range at the very least and our target to the upside would be that 023 at 57 cents if that was the case if we did something like this back tested get fully back inside the range and then head to the upside which you do want to be seeing don't you for your cryptos at this point but currently you know looking like we are maybe retesting as resistance and if that's the case then as we said i mean you're looking for your next key level of structure aren't you if i put this on the weekly time frame so it's easier to see and I just draw in some support. I mean, as we said here, this is the low that we have reached, which is this previous, you know, swing low of this candle here. I mean, realistically, your next level of support is probably in and around this level here, as we said, at the very best 30 cents, maybe even down to that swing low in and around that 25 cent area somewhere down here on the daily time frame. You can see the confluence for that. If that is the case, somewhere down here in this swing low area of structure where we do have a little bit of structure and support. So, It'll be interesting to see what happens for Cardano right now, but technically it's shaping up like it is looking quite bearish right now, losing that the, the range low there that we have seen over the past few months. 
and it'll be interesting to see what happens next so that's it for today guys thank you everyone for watching make sure to check out the links in the description below to support the channel grab yourself some free money bonuses like the video subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video